how they are setting up this, these remarks expected again from Terry McAuliffe. There he is. Let's go, let's go to this live. He's greeted by his supporters at his campaign headquarters in Virginia. Well, good evening, everybody. What an honor to be here with you tonight. Let me first of all thank you for coming out here tonight. And I, I want to thank our great governor, Ralph Northam and Pam Northam for the great work that they have done. So we still got a lot of votes to count. We got about 18% of the vote out, so we're going to continue to count the votes because every single Virginian deserves to have their vote counted. Let me, first of all, I want to thank everybody here with us tonight. It has been a great campaign. I started this campaign 328 days ago. I have done an average of seven to ten events a day for the last 328 days. And, and it was great to be out here. And we opened up this campaign. When I kicked off this campaign down in Richmond with my great co-chairs, LeVar Stoney and Louise Lucas and Charnel Herring, to talk about how we needed to rebuild all of our schools here in the Commonwealth of Virginia and raise teacher pay and get every child access to a pre-K education and to get everybody access to broadband here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And we have continued to take that fight throughout this Commonwealth. But first of all, I want to thank my family. I want to start by thanking... I want to thank my wife, Dorothy. She has been a champion, a true policy expert, and through her efforts, as you know, 13 million more meals served to needy children here in the Commonwealth of America. And I want to thank my family. You know, you don't get to pick your parents, as you know. Uh, you're born into family, and they have survived campaign after campaign. And I want to thank Dory, who is here with me tonight, with her fiance, Nick, who's here with us tonight. Jack McAuliffe, who is here with his fiancée, Shannon, tonight. <laughs> Sally McAuliffe. So let's, go, let's count all these votes, but let me thank each and every one of you over the course of the last 11 months for the doors that you've knocked on, the phone calls that you made. Just last weekend, 450,000 doors knocked on, 2 million during the course of this campaign. I want to thank you. The McCullough family loves each and every one of you. Thank you for what you've done for this campaign. And I want to thank my campaign staff. It was the greatest campaign staff ever assembled, and give them a great round of applause for all the great work they have done. But folks, if I said long ago, this is a different state. When Ralph and I were elected eight years ago, we have made our state open and welcoming, but the fight continues. we got to make sure we protect women's right to choose here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. we got to make sure everybody gets quality, affordable health care here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Everybody's entitled to a world-class education here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And we are going to continue that fight tonight and every day going forward. So I just want to thank all of you for what you have meant to us. I look around this room and I see so many friends we've worked with for many years. This is a different state. We are the greatest state in the United States of America. And it's because of you. Thank you. God bless you. And let's go on and forth. Thank you. 
Democratic candidate Terry McAuliffe. He is the former governor of Virginia. He is in the running tonight to become the next governor of Virginia as well. Uh, an upbeat speech and a weird little dance uh, from Terry McAuliffe tonight. Not a concession, although the NBC News characterization of that race right now is that it is too close to call with Youngkin in the lead. Again, we've got uh, a lot of the vote in um, in Virginia. We've got about 87 percent of the vote in. There's a difference of about 120 something votes, 120 thousand something votes between the two of them. Um, we are expecting, I think, that we will also get remarks from Glenn Youngkin. Um, again, those were not that was not a concession speech from Terry McAuliffe talking about how much vote remains to be counted and thanking everybody for their participation in his campaign.